board exams are on its way are you feeling stressed out right now not able to concentrate on your goals worried about your scores you might be in need of some guidelines and tips right don't worry exams are a crucial part of our current education system with so much riding on the outcomes it's quite obvious that many would experience stress or pressure but one must learn to put those negative feelings aside and concentrate on your learning goals so here i give you certain tips or say some guidelines that would help you to be well organized and prepare well for your exams there are a few things which you must be doing few months before your exams some just a day prior to your exam and some during your exam let's take a look at them one by one now that there are only a few months left you all must start your revision work try to do it chapter wise for each subject and try not to study just one subject the whole day instead make combination of subjects to make the learning process more interesting also while studying highlight points mark important questions keep a habit of making flow charts note down all the formulae in one page this would serve as your handwritten notes for last minute revision if you are already done with doing all these things keep a habit of reading chapters from your textbook solving previous year question papers will help you a lot try to allot those specified times and solve the paper as if you are appearing for it during exams i would also suggest you to check your own paper become your own teacher so that you can rank yourself you would even know your weakness and strength and could avoid any silly mistake if you're making one if you find any particular topic difficult you may discuss it with your friends as they may have a good understanding of that topic and might help you as well you may even share your knowledge as teaching is the best way of learning eat healthy avoid outside food and drink a lot of water stay hydrated please don't indulge in any activities that would cause any injury to you just take care of yourself being healthy is not just about your physical health find time for yourself take 15 minutes for yourself close your eyes sit calm and quiet meditate to de-stress yourself My dear friends it's not necessary that you follow this the very same way you may stick with your own way of studying just consider it as a small guideline now let's look at things which you need to keep in mind just a day before your exams take multiple copies of your examination entrance card and keep it safely check your stationery Make sure about the location of the exam center, how to reach there, time taken from your residence, etc. Also, make sure that you check your seat number and block number in the list provided by the school. Do only last minute revision which you have already prepared. Don't read anything extra. Be satisfied with whatever you know. And Do not fall prey to any rumors like the question paper getting leaked or stuff like that. Make sure that you sleep well on time. A good sleep is very essential. Or else you may tend to have headache or might even get distracted or fail to concentrate during your paper. Certain points to be noted on the day of your exam. Don't leave your home without having a breakfast. eat something light and healthy but make sure that you eat carry a bottle of water drink adequate water to stay hydrated wear loose or comfortable clothes reach your exam center well in advance keep calm and be confident pray to god read the instructions on the answer sheet and listen carefully to your invigilator Check the number of pages in your answer book. Check whether all the pages are ruled and proper. Be careful while filling all the details in your answer booklet. In case of any doubt, please ask. Check whether your question paper is printed on both the sides. While attending, please write the question number correctly 
and also the sub questions attempt extra questions only after you finish the main questions don't get distracted don't talk to your neighbor or indulge in any activity that would be considered copy case all right that's it i hope you found these tips really useful we also have another video on how to improve your paper presentation so stay tuned with us in case you need any assistance reach us by contacting us through whatsapp we'll be happy to help you wish you good luck believe in yourself stay healthy and confident thank you